Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from my new location which is my new flat. I did move this past weekend as I mentioned I would be and my room is effectually almost entirely set up. I have my new bookcase from Ikea sitting in my car because it's like 83 pounds and really long so my issue is not in like lugging 83 pounds up like to a third floor because I could actually do that. It's just that it's this really huge long package and I'm going that needs two people because I won't be able to balance it well and that'll be the problem so I'm gonna see if I can ask my flatmate to help me she's traveling right now so I'll have to wait on that one maybe she'll be nice and help me on like Friday whatever um but yeah so my room is almost entirely set up so once that happens I'll be able to like I don't know send pictures of what my new bookcase and all that will look like and be back to more regularly scheduled videos but this is to say that I have moved so most of the ultimate like weirdness that was going on is finished. I'm also as you can tell not on my iPad. I'm coming to you from my nice pretty new MacBook because again I will have to show pictures at some point of what my old laptop looks like now. Um, yeah, it's not pretty. Let's just go with that. So I can still use it like it sits on my desk and I can use it kind of like a desktop if I need it for certain things, which I definitely will still use it for. But I do now have a nice pretty refurbed MacBook that I love that is currently downloading El Capitan. So I was like, oh, well, while I'm waiting for this, you know, six gigabyte monster to download, let's just, you know, do a little video, check in, check up. Um, I have not really read anything recently so far as I can remember. I did f finish A Better World by Marcus Seiki, which was the sequel to whatever the first book was called. Brilliance! That's what it was called. Ooh, this is not good that I can't remember it. Um, But I did finish it and I rated it 4 to 5. I really enjoyed it. Uh, my book club is going to be reading The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. I, however, will not be participating because I am obviously on a very serious budget and I'm going I can't buy books willy nilly and unfortunately my library doesn't have an e-copy of The Black Prism so I will not be getting it and I was like I'll sit out of this month and I'm okay with that because I've already budgeted what books I will buy in October and I was like this does not fall on the budget even if it's like a little $9.99 ebook I don't care I'm not or you know mass market whatever not getting it. Um, let's see, other than that, I'm currently reading two arcs. One uh, is a kind of time travel adventure novel, and it's very fun, and the other is David Mitchell's upcoming release, Slade House. I haven't actually really started that one, I literally only just got it yesterday, so I will be reading that sometime soon. I would say this weekend, but this weekend I'm going to be setting up my bookcase. <laughs> That's literally my weekend project, is get the bookcase up, get it put together, get all the books and stuff on it, and that'll that'll be fun. You know, we think. Maybe I'll have to like live stream my attempt at putting it together because I'm a moron when it comes to tools and I'm pretty sure I could entertain everyone with my loud, you know, profane exclamations while I realize I'm a dumbass. Again, maybe I'll have somebody help me. I'm really gonna try and have somebody help me. Uh, I mean, I was lucky enough in that my personal trainer actually picked up the bookcase for me because the nearest Ikea is like an hour and a half away. And she and she said, oh, you know, my in-laws live up there. I'm up there like every other weekend and all that jazz. She was, if you want, I'll just pick it up for you and save you the gas. And I was just like, oh, yes, please. Like, you're a rock star beyond an awesome human being. And, uh... So yeah, I'm really babbling by this point. I'm just sort of telling stories. So I suppose I should just leave it at that. And after this weekend, you know, when I get the bookcase up and everything else, I'll go back to regularly scheduled like videos and just kind of doing them like I usually do. And oh, the last announcement I'll make, uh, because I had a long conversation with the various people in my little podcast production company is that the book table which is what we are calling our sort of review podcast the first episode which dealt with an ember in the ashes is going to release on october 28th there are some small things that are still being fixed in the mix as well as a need for production art and we happened to get offered help by someone who's a absolutely phenomenal graphic artist and so uh, we were willing to wait in order to get the art 
So yes, that episode will be coming out October 28th. I will post links to it. Um, and I apologize that the wait for that has been so long that it keeps getting put off as a producer, obviously, also known as the Deadline Queen. I'm not too pleased about it, but you know, these are people who are not in the entertainment industry the way that I am, and so I kind of have to be like, all right, I, I gotta give you a little leeway, and then also because it's the first time for a lot of people doing this. There's a lot of stuff to learn to sort of get the hang of. And that'll happen with the fiction podcast we're working on. The deadline for the pilot script is next week on Saturday. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I will very, very likely be tweeting my own experience of tweaking and looking at the pilot script. Nothing rude or nasty, but just to be like, and this is what I'm doing. Living on, you know, like nuts and jerky and doing this while also trying to set up a book and bookcase and work out. I'm still currently covered in bruises from my move and like my forearm and wrist haven't been the same on my right hand. It's it's oodles of fun. And now I'm really babbling so I am totally gonna sign off and so until next time you guys, cheers. <laughs>